Another top story for us today within the last hour, Low Country attorney Alex Murdoch appeared in a courtroom where a judge set a $20,000 PR bond. Murdoch is facing charges of fraud, conspiracy to commit insurance fraud, and filing a false police report. This all stems from an alleged failed effort to have someone kill him. We hear now from both sides in the courtroom, beginning with the de defense attorney, Dick Harputlian. This crime involved his attempt to have himself shot so his son could collect insurance money. Um, the only violence he's ever been involved in is this, which was to have himself executed. So he's not a danger to the community. The only person he's a danger to is himself. He um, immediately uh, surrendered, he immediately went to rehab after this incident. As soon as he got out of the hospital, he was shot in the back of the head. A bullet uh, didn't actually penetrate his skull, went in with entrance and exit wound. Um, he may have had a minor skull fracture and some minor bleeding on the brain. As soon as he released, he went to detox, I'm sorry, uh, and he was there for almost a week before he was ready to go to rehab. Uh, however, while the charges here under the law are not violent, the underlying facts are violent. Uh, they indicated uh, at least allegedly an intent to harm oneself, and that makes that person not only a danger to themselves, but that enhances the danger to the community in that regard. Uh, and it, indeed, they also involve conspiracy, and that means working with others for criminal activity. So I think that enhances the danger to the community. Well, this morning, Curtis Smith, who was accused of trying to help Murdoch commit suicide and insurance fraud, was also seen in court today in Hampton County. Here's that video. Smith was at a bond hearing for charges related to Murdoch's shooting just one day after a different bond hearing in another county for drug charges. A judge gave Smith a combined bond of $55,000 on four different charges. And yesterday, SLED released a statement saying based on a request from the Hampton County coroner, they're now opening a criminal investigation into the death of the former housekeeper, Gloria Satterfield. They want to know what happened to her estate. Satterfield was the housekeeper of Alex Murdoch's family, and according to court documents in a wrongful death settlement that listed Murdoch as the defendant, Satterfield died as a, quote, result of injury sustained in a trip and fall accident. Yesterday, her sons filed a lawsuit against Murdoch for a financial settlement in their mother's death. The coroner's office said they were never notified of Satterfield's death. They say they have not yet received any money. The sons have said that uh, because they were supposed to have received that money at least a year ago.